All right, it's that time of the year. So many changes have happened over the past year and a half, and definitely, or it, definitely going to school looked a lot different, and now it's going to continue so when it comes to keeping teachers, students, and families safe. Yeah, so to help keep parents up to date with those changes, our Fox 61 school squad is visiting districts all over the state to find out how they're welcoming kids back into the classroom. And right now we're checking in with Julia LeBlanc. She's joining us live from West Hartford outside Bugby Elementary School. Good morning to you, Julia. Love it. Got the backpack ready. Of course, I got to get ready for school. Well, the first day of school for the folks here at Bugby and throughout West Hartford is exactly two weeks from today. And for a lot of kids, well, they haven't packed their little backpacks here in more than a year and a half at this point because they haven't really been in the classroom. Well, lucky for you guys, we took a tour with the principal here to show you what it looks like. Okay, so the visitor policy is changing yes. this year, right? Yeah, so last year, unfortunately, you know, just to keep safe, we kept all visitors out of the building, but this year we're really excited to welcome parents and volunteers back, you know, with a purpose. So if they're helping in the classroom at a center or an activity, they're going to have to check it in the office, and we will require that they show proof of vaccination the first time they visit, and then it'll be on record, and they're welcome back anytime. So we're super excited about that this year. So when the kids are sitting down, do they need to wear their masks also, or can they take that off when they're sitting? Yep, nope. So every single person vaccinated or not is going to be wearing a mask in the building to start the year, um, and we're going to see how the year goes. You know, ideally, of course, we want to be without masks when this is behind us, but we have people in our community that we need to protect and make sure that we're safe bringing all the kids back to in-person learning. So we'll be grouping students for their reading groups and for their math groups. And ideally, still, they'll be three feet apart as they're receiving that leveled instruction. But we'll be keeping the, those groups solid so that we know, you know, if the yellow bees were at the teacher table um, and they were a little bit closer and we need to contact Trace, we know exactly who that is. So we're outside now and you utilize outdoor spaces a lot last year. You're going to be doing the same this year, right? Absolutely. You know, here we are three feet apart, so we get to be unmasked, which is a huge benefit. But there's so many other benefits for students that we learned about last year, bringing them outside more emotionally and physically. It's great. But of course, just given some of our mitigation efforts this year, they'll welcome the mask breaks for sure. Um, you know, they'll get to see each other's faces, read those emotions more authentically um, and just, you know, spend time really enjoying each other. Well, back out here live at Bugby. Thank you to the principal for giving us that tour. That's what it looks like for an elementary school. But actually, the students here didn't face as many challenges as the older students, the high schoolers, because they dealt with a lot more virtual learning there. So coming up at 7 o'clock, we're going to talk to the superintendent about what the whole picture looks like for everyone within the district. A lot of changes this year, and we want to let you know what's going on. So join us for that story. We are live right outside of Bugby Elementary School, Julia LeBlanc, Box 61.